You just got your real estate license and you're looking for the cheapest ways to get free leads. Stay tuned. I'm just answering a question that I often get from new realtors and they're like, Gary, how do I get free leads as a new realtor? How do I get leads without spending money and doing Google AdWords and paying for things and doing direct mail and flyers? I'm going to give you six ways you can generate free leads as a new realtor. Number one is door knocking. Very simple. People think it's overrated. But no, it's not. Actually, not a lot of people are doing door knocking these days. A lot of people are going online and spending money building funnels and Facebook ads and all these things. So it's not like before where pre-internet, everyone was door knocking and cold calling. But nowadays, not very many people are door knocking. They're scared or they're, they want to hide behind a computer. And so door knocking is actually a great way to build relationships. Don't think about door knocking like, oh, I'm going to like door knock for dollars. No, think about as door knock to build relationships. Get yourself known. Um, don't try to sell them anything. Just build the relationship. Have your face known. Have them remember you. Door knocking is a great way. Number two, cold calling. Cold calling also is a great way to get to know people and know the people in your neighborhood. Try to cold call and offer something of value. Is there something in the news that most people are not familiar with. Maybe there's a new policy change. You can maybe talk about that or maybe do a survey. Don't cold call and try to pitch them stuff like, oh, hey, are you ready to buy or sell? Like, don't sound like a typical cold caller or else you're going to get a lot of people slamming the phone on you. See if you can add value. See if there's ways you can help them in some way or another without pitching them your stuff, without them thinking you're trying to sell them something. So cold calling is a great way to build your communication skills on the phone and a great way to think about ways to add value. The survey way is a great idea. Call and do a survey and see if you can do some market research. Or maybe you know something about what's going on that, in that neighborhood and you can cold call and explain to them about, hey, did you know in your area, in your community, this is happening? So that's why cold calling, you should be a little bit strategic. You shouldn't be cold calling random areas. You should be picking an area and then cold calling that area and know, do your due diligence, market knowledge of that area. So when you call, you have something valuable to offer or to share. Number three, social media, Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, Instagram, YouTube. Are you doing any of that? Like post some articles, share some articles on Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, share your opinion about the real estate market. As a realtor, you probably know the ins and outs better than the non-realtors. So you're able to add value. So many realtors, new realtors, don't take advantage of this free tool like Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, Instagram, YouTube. Shoot some videos, share, like do what I'm doing. Just share, add value, free, free content, right? Con this is content marketing. Number four, join clubs some meetup groups and uh, add value. Once again, build relationships. Don't pitch your stuff. Don't like shove your business card in front of people. Don't be like a typical salesperson. See how you can build relationships and add value to them. They'll know you're a realtor. They'll ask you, what do you do? And then when they say, what do you do? Don't, don't like go into your like five minute elevator pitch. And you know, sometimes I just say, I'm in real estate. That's it. You know, I, yeah, sometimes I'll, I'll give, give them like a little bit more like 15 second elevator pitch, but I, I try to downplay what I do and try to see what they do and how do I add value to them. I put the focus on them. I don't like to just talk about myself. I want them to talk. I want to be listening and listening to their needs. Number five, meet with different service providers that buyers and homeowners need, such as architects, mortgage brokers, home builders, home inspectors, uh, contractors. See if you can build relationships with those people so that maybe in the future they can give you referrals. But not just for that, but just get to know them because you will come across people who need mortgage brokers, builders, contractors, etc. So if you build your network, then you can always introduce people to them, right? So it's important to meet these service providers that buyers and homeowners regularly use. Number six, 
Create a free website. Create a free website and blog. Write about the market. Write about what the market is doing or write about something, your perspective, your take on a particular article on the media that talks about the market crashing or the market's going up. Share some insight that probably the typical non-realtor doesn't know about. Like a lot of the market knowledge out there is very bird's eye view, but maybe you can give a more micro scope, a micro uh, perspective on it. Instead of looking at uh, the macro scale, go in deeper and look through a micro perspective of what's going on in particular neighborhoods, what's going on in particular uh, communities in regards to development, any new developers in town that are building in certain areas, share more detail and blog about it and share those blogs on social media. It's important because the news likes to just talk about the macro perspective and they like to share fear and they like to just do share articles. They like to share news that's eyeball worthy, that you know just catches people's eyeballs. Why don't you share stuff that the news never talks about? Share like happy stories, like positive stories, good experiences, right? The, the media sometimes just bashes uh, the real estate industry and says, oh yeah, those shady realtors and stuff. Why don't you share something positive about that? Or maybe you do a response to a particular article and your feedback about it, your opinion on it, right? Be professional, of course, and then share those articles with your sphere, with people on your Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, uh, Instagram, YouTube, etc. You can do a vlog about it. So now that you have six ways to generate free leads as a new realtor. I hope you found value. Hey, if you haven't done so already, subscribe. I know you're watching these videos and you're not subscribing. Subscribe, click the notification bell, comment below. I really like to hear what you have to say about these videos. Are you liking them? If you're liking them, hey, thumbs up. If you don't like them, tell me. You're like, this is boring, Gary, this is boring. Share about this. I'd like to hear so that I can do other videos that you like to watch. Subscribe, comment below, hit the notification bell, thumbs up, and I'll see you in the next video.